We're starting our last day in Kansas and we're going to where the first 4th of July celebration was ever held west of the Mississippi River and it was when Lewis and Clark were going exploring and they were going all the way to the Pacific eventually but they stopped here at the Missouri River and celebrated the 4th of July. Richard today that would have been the first time you've been fishing in And what's crazy is now I'm here celebrating the 24th of July. Not as cool as Independence Day, but still pretty cool. We're coming into the game from a different parking lot today. It's kind of cool. Looking over the stadium. Hill's looking kind of steep though. Might have to slide down on my butt. I'm taking a quick game break on my own. I'm gonna go check out the little shop and see if there's anything I should get my dad. I feel like he needs a royal shirt. Like I said before, he's Team Tampa forever. So am I. But he's also just a general sports fan. And I think that's kind of the way to be with sports in general. Is if you visit somewhere, it's kind of cool just to, I don't know, it's a bonding thing. It's fun. Brian's been watching the game. It's the last day with Richard and with his family, so that's pretty cool. I figured I'd kind of let them have their own thing for a minute. We'll go walk around and see what's around the stadium. I want to go while we're over here too and go up to like, there's like a porch and there's like a bar area and there's like all these cool places that I thought we'd go check out real quick because when am I going to be in Kansas City again? Hopefully soon, but I don't know if it'll be too soon, you know? I kind of don't care what anyone says. The coolest part about this park is for sure the fountains. They're so sick. Like, I'm going to write a letter to whoever is in charge of getting Tampa's new stadium and be like, I know we're not the city of fountains like Kansas City, but please. For the love of God, put some fountains in there. They're so cool. People will show up just for the fountains. I know I would. Huge fountain lover. Anytime there's water coming out of the ground, I'm in. Like I feel like I should go to Yellowstone and visit Old Faithful real soon because that would be like the ultimate nature fountain to me. <laughs> I always laugh because I'm like, oh, let me get pictures in front of the fountain. And Brian's like, just water. It's just water. I think it's a mermaid thing. Maybe that's what it is. It's a mermaid thing. Yeah, look at this. I always laugh at myself when I catch myself off guard and I'm like, I love water. It's like, yeah, duh. You've said it every day for your entire life. We get it, you love water, Lindsay. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. This is the fountain view. Okay, that's enough of the fountains, I get it. We're done, we're done talking about the fountains. So my dad exclusively pretty much wears long sleeve dry fit tees. He's a PE coach, he's been a PE coach for 37 years, he just retired. And that is his outfit. Some gym shorts with um, pockets. That's requirements, so he can put his keys and whistle and everything in it. And then long sleeve dry fit shirt. Sounds like a lot, like long sleeves, but it's outside all day, protects his arms, keeps him from getting sun damage, stuff like that. So I found him a Kansas City one. I think that'll be cool. I think we'll like it. So that's the end, last game. When we're here, last game of the series, the Rangers took it. 2-1 in the series. It was tough though. These last two games yesterday, the Royals rallied, and then also today, the Royal, it was 2-1, and they could have come back. It was so close. And the closer both times came out and got it together. So good job on his part with the Rangers. We're excited. Brian got to see one of his coaches when he was with the Nationals. That's so cool. Now we're gonna head out and get our last and final stop of barbecue, and then we gotta fly home. We gotta head out. I gotta work at Pure Bar in the morning. Kansas City, you all have been fantastic hosts. Thanks for having us. I'm excited to have a little more barbecue and then hit the road. For our last barbecue spot, we're hitting up Arthur Bryan's. Great ambiance. People are stoked to work here. Yeah. He was not. We asked him if he was having a nice day and he said, no, worst day ever. And I was like, well, I hope it gets better. Can I have some brisket? <laughs> and I'm now very excited about it. So I'm trying brisket for the first time. I've had ribs, brisket, pulled pork. French fries. Fre well, French fries, baked beans, pasta salad. 
basically everything I don't normally ever have. I'm gonna go home and have a salad tomorrow. <laughs> I had Asian stir fry last night though, that was delish. We made it home, we are back in Tampa. It's pretty bittersweet. I was just thinking about it. And we could have we could have stayed for like another week huh? and had stuff to do. What? We could have stayed for like another week and had stuff to do. Oh yeah. But we're probably gonna go back. Tomorrow? Mm, probably. Next weekend. <laughs> Take a weekend trip. That would be awesome. I'm so down for it. But it is good to be home. I'm excited to see my dog. I'm excited to see my family. It'll be very nice. Okay, let's get home. Let's go see the me. Hello, did you miss me? I missed you so much. Is it nice for me to be home? Oh my gosh, our trip was fantastic, but it is so good to be home now. <gasps> Say hi, little Mies. Hey. Oh, I picked him up from my parents' house. And it is just so nice to be in my bed, in my new air conditioning, having the time of my life. I think my favorite part about the whole weekend was getting to see so many people that Brian's close to that I wouldn't normally get to see. Like his cousin, well technically it's his mom's cousin but that's who we stayed with. He's very close with them and his sons and his wife and you know his whole family and that was awesome to get to know them better, spend a lot of time with each of them and then also to get to see so many of his friends from baseball that you know I miss kind of that whole part of his life where he was playing baseball and he was doing all of that. So it was really cool just to get a little glimpse of it and see you know what everybody's like and see his best friend and Oh, it was just the best, Mies. It was the best. So for now, since it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, I think it's time to go to sleep. I have to be at Pure Bar in the morning. I'm excited to go back and be there and hang out. It'll be so much fun. And I'm excited to be with my niece. Oh, hmm. So as always, when you're presented with a chance to eat barbecue for at least two meals every day, you definitely take it. All right, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! But it is good to, but it is good to be home to see you. It's good to be home to see you. It's so good. It's so good. It's good to be home. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. Okay. Next up on our whirlwind tour of Kansas City is the Nelson Atkins Art Museum, I believe is the name of it. I'm pretty excited about it. We're in the modern wing. There was a statue that was like, you know, modern, but she had a mermaid tail and I was like, hey, that's a mermaid statue. But we're getting our art in. We've had a lot of culture today on our visit. Not just baseball, not just barbecue, culture.